Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. So today we're going to do some unpacking of a load of parts that have arrived. So it should be good. Let's do it. Okay, so first thing we've got to unpack is arrived. We have one fire extinguisher. Laser plumbing, and again, I know it seems really early, but I want to get some brackets fabricated for where it's all going to go and be mounted in the car. So, it's going to be drilling through nice, freshly painted bodywork. Got the mounts, plumbing pipe to plumb it all in, uh, which obviously go into the engine bay. We've got the two pull cables to obviously activate it should I ever need it, but fingers crossed I won't ever actually need to use it. So that's the fire extinguisher through, so I can get all that all drilled through. I'm thinking the idea of the pull cables will be that I'll probably put it through the box sectioning. That's in front of the uh, in front of where the seat is. That goes across, obviously. Well, yeah, from left to right across the width of the car, plumb it all through there. We've got this, which is hashtag charged, because obviously, as long as you may remember, it's going to be supercharged. So that's all in. Brush stainless, that's the engine cover, um, covers the spark plugs. Just saw that, I was a bit of an impulse buy, but saw it and thought, want. So, get yeah, that. May end up in a car, may not. And then we got from JJC Race and Rally. They sent me some OMP harnesses in black. That's another harness, I think. Yeah, so we've got. Two harnesses, which is always useful for a two-seater car. It means I can uh, share the camera on. And then we have the MP D-shaped steering wheel. A suede finish as well. That's nice. So yeah, so there's that all unpacked. Again, I've got that all now. Basically, I've got the steering wheel because I want to get all the steering column all mounted. The idea is basically that I'm going to be mounting it more vert horizontally, sorry, the column more horizontally towards me. So the steering wheel is obviously in a more upright position. Don't want it to be typical sort of mini when it's sort of upright and you're sort of driving it like a bus. So the idea is obviously from where the steering rack comes through the floor pan, it's actually have it coming up on a, um, obviously on a joint and then probably come up like 250mm, something like that, above the pedals and then come out more sort of horizontally as a column so as it's a more sort of usable driving position uh the seats can be quite low down in it which you can actually see behind so let's bring the motor over so we have here one lightweight kirky seat by name and by nature um i've gone for the 15 inch uh hip whip on it i'm about six foot two moderate build but i fit in there pretty comfortably uh, nice and tight on the supports around the rib cage, and then I've got a five point harness to go through, which will hopefully anything should happen should hold me in place uh, pretty well. Hopefully, but we won't try and test that out. I think we'll just try and use it to sit in and drive and have a good time, is the, uh, is the idea. But yeah, I'm really pleased with them. So I've got two of those as well. So again, don't really need to be fitting seats so much at the moment, but it's more the brackets uh, for when I mount it underneath to the floor, floor of the mini. I want to make sure I've got all the holes, and I'll keep banging on about it, get all the holes drilled, all the bracketry made up, make sure it all fits with the frame in there before it goes off to paint so I can get all that all fabricated up, take it all back out again, and I'll be an expert, what's the expert? I'll be more practised in fitting it back the second time round when I actually come to fit it. Hopefully I won't go knocking all the fresh paint rather than trying to work it all out once it's all painted, taking it in and out, making measurements, and just keep knocking my freshly painted mini, which you don't really want to have to do. So that's those parts which have arrived. Um, what else have we got? A few eager eyes of you there will see I've got a front end in the background there. I'm gonna leave that for another video. Basically I've ordered up uh, stage three carbon front end gel coat from Archangels and I also got an open weave bonnet from them. Uh, but I've also ordered from Carbon Weasel, uh, Miglia Arches and a Mark 1 front grill from them um, and a boot lid as well. Just wanna sort of see what the quality is up between the two. I've had mixed reviews from Archangels, um, but obviously local to me, I could go and pick them up. Um, so far, I've ordered some bits from them, get some bits from Carbon Weasel. So I'll do a video to compare the 
compared to sort of panels, the quality that I think from what I've experienced, and I thought it might be quite interesting. I'm um, interesting for you know some of the mini guys out there looking at getting parts and not sure sort of who to use. Uh, they both said when I ordered the parts it'd be about a 12 week wait, and that was back in February and January. Well, January for um, Archangels and the beginning of February for Carbon Weasel, and they've literally both arrived the same week now in July. Uh, so more like six, seven months rather than 12 weeks. Uh, apparently, the real hot weather we've been having has been making laminating difficult resins not setting properly etc whether that's uh, an excuse a lie or they've just been really really flat out busy and just you know completely underestimated the delivery time i don't know but um i went up to car um so i went up to archangels had a look around their place um, i've got a few little videos there which i'll show you so i'll leave that for next episode we'll have a look through the panels show you their place and um yeah see and just compare the panels and and you know hopefully that might help out so make a decision on who they're going to use not that i'm going to necessarily recommend anyone but i'll just sort of give my own personal opinion on my experiences and what i feel the panels that i've received are like um so i've not even unpacked those yet the only other thing that i can probably show you well i say show you i can't really show you much apart from a box but i'll unwrap it yet i've got uh lexan windows so i've got obviously the rear quarters driver passenger and uh the rear winds window as well uh i've got big sliders in the passenger windows and the driver windows so they're all ready to again bolt in but again just bought them because they were on sale or well, not on sale but discounted um some sort of deal they were doing so i thought well snap them up now i need them eventually so why not get them and then i've got them for if ever i need to so well, i think that's really about it uh for now uh you guys saw that i had a teaser in the last episode of a carbon fiber piece um that sort of links in with what's behind me there and sort of some other parts that I'm looking to add onto the car as well. So I'm just going to sort of extend that teaser to the next episode because I've literally only just got the bit through from Carbon Weasel about 10 minutes ago. My wife brought them back uh, very kindly for me from work where they got delivered to. So I'll unpack those another day and you know, clear a bit of space and we'll get those together. Um, so I said go for all that. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just take you over to have a look at the, uh, at the Mini with one of the seats in place basically. Um, so as you can see, it's, um, it fits in there quite nicely. There's plenty of room for both of them. I have trial fitted them both in side by side. Again, they're just sort of resting in there at the moment. Um, but what I am really pleased about is that I've got plenty of room down either side of the seat. I was a bit concerned with the 15 inch hip width on them. That basically I wasn't going to be able to get my tunnel down the middle, which I need to put all the you know handbrake cables, shifter cables, Gotta try and plumb all the brake lines through there, just wiring, etc. Everything you can hide in the sensor console is gonna try and do. So I'm quite pleased that I've got a good three or four inches to the side of that seat, and that's not even sort of in the middle of the car. So I'll, I'll have plenty of space for that. But I think sort of, you know, whilst we're whilst we're waiting here, let's um get the other seat in as well and we can get a better idea. As I said, these seats are lightweight by name and by nature. I think they weigh about four and a half kilos each. Um, obviously, I've got to get the bracket on the, the base of them, and I've got to tie them into the frame on the back. So I'm actually going to move them over so they're sat on the floor. I've got sort of half an inch clearance on the side, and that will give me a better indication then as to how much room I actually have down the centre for the centre console. Just have to take out the old tools that are left lying around in here from cutting out. Um, obviously I'm going to be dictated to slightly as well by the where the harnesses mount on the back, although I could always fabricate them and mount them in different positions, but that's really as wide as they could possibly go. sitting there quite square but hopefully it'll give you a bit of an idea in any case inside for them so as i said uh, the driver's one definitely isn't in sort of square but as um as you can see i've got more than enough room down the middle to put a uh, sensor console which is great i'm just probably in fairness about an inch and a half on each seat too wide 
for where the harnesses need to mount. So take three, three inches out the, the gap in the middle for the, to fit in the console, but I'm still gonna have plenty of space down there. Um, oh, and there's the, uh, the other little trick bit, which is uh, gonna be on, hopefully be on one of the next few videos. So basically sequential shifter. So as some of you may have heard me talking about, um, it's obviously gonna be supercharged and I thought, well, I want to go the whole hog. So kindly, the guys at Momentum Motorsport um, are organising for me a Quaif sequential gearbox with a K20. Uh, I've gone to send the shifter over now again, so as I can sort of fabrication, get a bracket made up to mount it all. So obviously I'm going to have the centre console up, which is going to give me, I'll probably have it sort of this sort of height here. So obviously I need to make a bracket to raise that up. So as it sits above that, we we'll also need to get the seats in so as I can work out where I'm going to be sat, you know, a comfy position for for lever itself. But it's a nice little bit of a bit of kit, and it just well, just exciting just to put it in the car. In fact, I might even just have a little sit in it once I stop this video and and have a little uh, a little try and just see how I feel about it. And you know, why not? You do the same if you were me. If you had a seat there and a sequential uh, lever sat in the car, you'd probably all jump in it as well and have a little play. So. I'll do that next, I think. Um, but yeah, so I think that's really, really it for this episode, I guess. I've sort of unboxed a few of the parts. Nothing else that I can think that I've got coming at the moment. Oh, yeah, sorry, there is. I've got um pedal box coming, uh, or the floor-mounted version with the master cylinders that come, obviously, into the footwell, into the cockpit itself, and a shield for that. So I've got that coming. Hopefully, that'll be here beginning part of next week. Again, just to really fabricate it up, get the brackets made up for well mounting up to the floor and all welded in. Again, Gonna say it again and repeat myself again. Just to get as much of the fabrication done as I can before we go to get it all painted. So just getting all these main bits. The only problem is it's expensive buying all your seats, shifter levers, steering bits, uh, pedal boxes, and things like that. But you're gonna have to buy it eventually. So you know I've been looking at it for the last few months, which bits to order and reading a few reviews and one thing or another. So so yeah. So thanks uh, for sticking around and watching till the end. If you've made it this far. Um, if you like the video and that and obviously you want to keep in touch with what's going on or you've got any thoughts about seats mounting it mounting the lever any suggestions really you know i'm open to anything um to do the mini just to have a little chat and just drop me a comment uh tell me your thoughts or anything you think i should do differently or what you like about the car or just well anything in general so if you are enjoying it if you click here fingers crossed to be about there um to subscribe and like the video uh, share it amongst your mates, you know, let them all know because it'd be great to get a few of you guys on board and watching the build and I said give me some suggestions and yeah, just basically just keeping in in touch with what's going on with the build. I'm proper excited obviously about it and you know, you never know, might get to see, see a car in the flesh one day. It'd be nice to sort of say 